Hi everyone, it's Lily Rose with Lily Rose Creations here today. So I am going to do a little dotting video. Little stone. Just a normal little one. Um, made with the uh, Happy Dotting Company mold. Uh, just painted with acrylic black paint. So I'm going to be doing that. And I'm going to be using these colours today. So I've got Arteza with titanium white. And I will be using the 10 iridescent colours. Which, um, do, do, do. Ah, here we go. They include Dreamy Ye Lemon Yellow, which is this one. It's an okay colour, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it'll work. So we got that one. We have got Shady Orange, sounds like a dry queen name, and I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. So we got that one. One thing I love is that these are the rainbow. And then we have Fiery Red. Sounds like a red pepper name. Did that? Glowing peach. It, it looks pink first, but whenever it dries, it does turn into a peachy kind of color. And it's one of my favorites. And then I'm gonna put that down here. And then afterwards we have Royal purple, gorgeous kind of purple. You don't want to, yeah, like bloop, 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 bloop. bloop. <laughs> I would edit that out, but I have a playful nature, so hey ho. Um, electric plum purple, and this one is gorgeous. Oh, that came out a little bit fast. So there's that one, and then we've got Fairy Tail Blue. It's a beautiful color, absolutely gorgeous. I can actually squeeze. I don't want to squeeze too hard for it to bring out. So it's like that. I wish I could turn this into a watercolor. That would be amazing. Iridescent watercolors. But I gotta find the right pigments. And here we got playful pink, or as my friend Christina um, likes to call it, unicorn pink. Oh, yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. And then we have let's see, it? shocking lime green. Just so shocking. But it is quite shocking. Where's that? And then, last but not least, we have Fancy Black. And it is quite fancy. But it's really nice. So, that's those. And I am going to be using the DIY Mandala Stones tools. I'm absolutely in love with these. I mean, in love. And obviously I've got my trusty little stylist at the bottom. And then whenever I got some polymer clay, I also got the Arteza tools. And they came with some dotting tools. So you got the rind edge one. I'm not too sure what the millimeter sizes are. Um, but they look pretty good so I'm going to be using them in the video and then you've also got these like these ones are flexible but these ones are more hard and they're pretty cool and then I'll see nice pointy one and so yeah so that is what it's going to be doing today I've got um, my titanium white already 
put in these little pots with some pouring medium and I have my stone all ready to go. Um, so I will be back and I am going to try and do this as a step by step so showing what numbers I'm doing and everything trying to kind of make it like a tutorial. I can't get my words out. It is like 7 a.m. in the morning and I've been awake since like half three. The joys of um, a painful gum. <laughs> oh, c'est la vie. Um, I hope I pronounced that right. That's French word. That's life. Um, but yeah, but thank you all for joining me today and let's get to it. <laughs>
Thank you.